North Korea. Whoever would have believed it? They are absolutely overwhelmed. This is the first time I was in the United States. 등번호 7번호 단 박도익입니다. 라이트윙 속도가 아주 빨랐고 그래서 공격에서 골을 넣을 수 있는 기회들을 많이 만들어졌다. 박승진 박승진 라이트 하 칠리하고 할때한건 이었고. 그 다음에 포르토가로한테 한 불렸고 다 잘하네 다 잘하네 레우터 합 레우터 합 이전 그냥 중장과 리얼락을 아주 잘합니다 레우터 윙 레우터 윙 이탈리아 저 이탈리아고 할때 골기 발이 장면. 그래서 장면 용은 어렸을 때부터 이 문직이라서 우리나라에서 제일 꼽히는 이분. 요 우리 예편 냈나? 너친님이야. 그 이빨이 다 빠져나서 험불떼이 됐단 말입니다. 1966, these North Korean footballers travelled to England for the 8th World Cup as 1,000 to 1 outsiders. So little was known about them that they might as well have been flying in from the moon. Yet they would take the World Cup by storm and for a brief period become the darlings of the nation. Today, North Korea remains an enigma, as alien as it was in 1966. has been split since the end of the Second World War. The division between North and South is the Cold War's final frontier. To the north of the border, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, population 22 million, has been ruled by its own unique brand of communism for over 50 years. The father of North Korea is Kim Il-sung, known as the Great Leader. He became head of state in 1948 and led the country through the Korean War. Kim Il-sung is so revered that despite his death in 1994, he remains head of state. North Korea is now ruled by his son, Kim Jong-il, known as the Dear Leader. Every North Korean wears a lapel badge depicting either the Great Leader or the Dear Leader. In 1966, the World Cup became the biggest sporting event ever, with record crowds and unprecedented worldwide television coverage. For such a public spectacle at the height of the Cold War, 
North Korea's involvement was to prove difficult at every turn. Sixteen years earlier, Korea had plunged into civil war. The savage and brutal conflict, which lasted for three years, was a clash between the Cold War ideologies of the Communist North and the Capitalist South. The North was supported by China and the Soviet Union, the South by America and the United Nations. Hostilities ended with Korea still split and an estimated four million people killed. A peace treaty has never been signed. The war left North Korea completely isolated from the West. This is the first time that anyone has been given permission to enter North Korea to interview the football players about their experiences at the 8th World Cup. Out of the 16 places at the World Cup finals, only one was available to all of Africa, Asia and Oceania. Indignant at this discrimination, all African nations withdrew their teams from the qualification process. South Korea, who had competed in the 1954 World Cup, also pulled out. Just two countries, North Korea and Australia, were left to compete for that one available place at the World Cup finals. The North Koreans had been training solidly for 10 months and had played many internationals in preparation, including a tour of the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe. They were a tight-knit and disciplined unit. Myung Ri Hyun was Korea's head coach and was to see the team through their extraordinary World Cup adventure. Speed and energy were the dominant themes in North Korean society at the time. At the end of the Korean War, the North lay completely flattened. Reconstruction of any sort would be an immense task. The development of Kim Il-sung's socialist utopia at lightning speed was named Cholima, after the winged horse of Korean mythology. Reflecting the energy around them, North Korea's footballers played a fast-paced Cholima style of football. <laughs> At the 8th World Cup, Cholima was to take North Korea's Western opponents by surprise. 
Having fought on opposite sides in the Korean War, North Korea and Australia did not recognise each other, so the playoff was switched to a neutral venue, Cambodia. Uniquely, the home and away legs would be played three days apart in the same country. No one, especially the supremely confident Australians, gave North Korea a chance. Yet this was Australia's first full international for seven years, and their preparation had been decidedly low-key. Only one of their players was born in Australia. The majority, like Englishman Jeff Slate, were in fact British. We went to Cairns in, in northern Queensland because it was considered to be a similar climate to that of Cambodia. And we played two friendly games, one against a northern Queensland amateur select team who we managed to beat 17-0, and one against a team from Ingham who we managed to beat 26-0. So we went off to play against North Korea feeling pretty good. It was really an opportunity to get back to England to play in the World Cup Finals. Australia team에 대해서는 전혀 파악이 없었습니다. 우리가 분한테네 11월 13일 날 도착했고 오스트레일리아 팀은 15일 날 도착했습니다. At the time, the Cambodians were just putting the finishing touches to a brand new stadium holding 55,000 people, and we were allowed to train on that pitch every day. They were on the field as we arrived for training each day, but we were under the impression that there were people who were in the North Korean army, they were, they were regimented, uh, they, they, they had to do as do they were told to do. To us, we, we were liberated, we were free thinking, and we thought our way was the best. I recall that we didn't train very much, we didn't determine any strategy or use any tactics. We, we played full-scale practice games against each other. We realised later that uh, we had the second session after the North Koreans and they used to sit in the stand and watch us play these practice games. Australia team was scientifically used to do it. Especially the main skills were very good. But the main skills were very good. And the main skills were very good. The main skills were very good. 집단력이었고 음? 또 기술은 좋아도 속도 경기를 하지 못하는 것과 같은 부적점을 우리가 간파하고 여기에 대응해서 우리가 새로운 전술을 짜가지고 오스트레리아하고 대결할 수 있었습니다. To ensure fairness, Cambodia's ruler Norodom Sihanouk ordered the stadium to be divided in two. Half would support the Australians and half the North Koreans. They put the biggest player in their team, marking me. Now I'm only a little guy, but I kicked that fullback when the ball was there, when the ball wasn't there. I kicked him, I elbowed him, I tried everything. Couldn't hurt him, couldn't outside him, couldn't scare him, couldn't do anything. Uh, and I think, on reflection, they were all the same. They were army guys. They were tougher than than we were. I'm glad we were only playing them at football. And they beat us 6-1, and and the second game we lost 3-1. As soon as the North Koreans qualified, the British Foreign Office realised that they had a problem on their hands as the UK didn't recognise North Korea. They clearly didn't want them here. They viewed them as an embarrassment. One of the Foreign Office officials wrote, the North Koreans have thoughtlessly beaten the Australians and so will be giving us a headache. They were worried that it would set a precedent for recognising other countries where sovereignty was in dispute and the main one they were worried about was East Germany. They toyed with the idea of refusing visas to the North Korean players, which would have been in line with a policy towards other countries where they didn't recognise sovereignty. But they realised early on that this might lead FIFA to move the World Cups to another country. And they realised that this would create major problems uh, for British sports lovers, for all the organisation that had gone on. And so they had to try and work out a compromise that would let the Koreans in, but not imply recognition of the People's Democratic Republic of Korea.
우리들은 그 비행기 안에서 수령님께서 가르쳐 주신 그런 전법대로 싸워서 꼭 조국의 용의를 빛내 이해가야 되던 것. Uruguay in Group One. Second, Argentine in Group Two. And Chile in Group Four. The first into Group Two, West Germany. Next, Hungary, Group 3, USSR in Group 4. The first to come is France in Group 1. The second is Spain. The third is Portugal. And the fourth is Italy. Group four. Mexico, Switzerland, Bulgaria, Interestingly, the Foreign Office came up with its minimum demands and its maximum demands, and it negotiated on those grounds. Now, on the name, there doesn't seem to have been much problem. People very quickly accepted North Korea as the name. And the last, North Korea in Group 4. Flag flying was the most problematic issue. Dennis Howell, the Minister for Sport, was very keen on a festival atmosphere and he didn't want other countries minimising their chances to fly the flags. And in this case, Howell won out and all flags were flown and the Foreign Office just had to say to the South Koreans, this doesn't mean we now recognise North Korea. Now, on the anthems, the Foreign Office view held and they did manage to minimise the playing of anthems. They came up with the model whereby the only anthems played would be before the opening match, England against Uruguay, and before the final, which they assumed would not involve North Korea. And in fact, the North Korean anthem wasn't played at all. So in that case, the Foreign Office view managed to minimise the uh, display of symbols of nationhood. And all the while, they managed more or less to keep it out of the press. Uh, there was a little bit of speculation about the diplomatic overtones to this, but they managed to keep the actual negotiations, horse dealing that was going on, out of the press. It now gives me great pleasure Open the eighth World Football Championships. The United States of America is falling. But we are fighting the United States of America. The United States of America is falling. We are fighting the United States of America. 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 Due to his exploits at the 8th World Cup in England, Pak Duik is the most famous North Korean footballer outside of his country. In 
그때가 스무 살 됐습니다. 그러니까 나이 좀 많이 들어서 이제 볼을 어, 시작했어. 차기 시작했습니다. 미들즈브로. 미들즈브로 잉글랜드. 1959년도에 종합팀에 망나돼서 어, 선수 생활을 시작했습니다. 이것이 나의 축구 생활의 첫 시작이라고 이제 얘기할 수 있습니다. Pak de Wick later became national team manager. North Korea were drawn in Group 4, along with Italy, Chile and the Soviet Union. We know the Soviet Union had a good side, and Italy, of course, are, are, all, are always in, in contention. So it looked a pretty strong group, but of course nobody had, had really thought seriously about the North Koreans. They were just there to make up the numbers. <laughs> The North Korean delegation numbered 74, which included the squad, coaching staff, medical team, chefs, and a four-man documentary crew. The base for their three group games would be Middlesbrough, an industrial working-class city in the northeast of England. We mindrege kotonga, eh? So my go, you go to Tanunga, I guess, my head, Marajiki, the one. 조선 전쟁의 참전국이라는 거. 응? 그 우리는 족대국이다. With the Korean War still fresh in the minds of the British, perceptions of the Korean team as an aggressive, hardline communist enemy were widespread. Yet the mayor of Middlesbrough, John Boothby, embraced the Koreans and in a clear message to the town, went out of his way to make his guests feel welcome. They came with a reputation Probably it was misguided, but by the same token, you had to do something to try and overcome the people's thinking in the area. And uh, the, the, as ambassadors of a country, you couldn't have had better people. The Koreans stayed at a newly opened hotel adjacent to the airport and trained on the pictures belonging to the local petrochemical plant. Nobody knew anything about them. Nobody knew anything about the society or anything like that. So they were an unknown quantity. And just to see um, international football uh, in the northeast uh, was was tremendous. So there was a, a real sort of buzz. Tremendous atmosphere here at Ayrson Park. But the rank on the right there, the Russians in all white strip tonight. And on the left, of course, the team that everybody wants to know about, the North Koreans. The Koreans have played in Russia. They've played against Spartak and indeed beat them 2-0. The North Koreans' average height was just five foot five inches. The Soviets, having seen their domestic teams lose to the speedy Koreans, 
knew they had to make full use of their significant physical advantage. Oh, and a very nasty piece of kicking there by the Russian. The Russians came in for severe criticism because they, they'd been a bit physical with the Koreans. They, were all, they all seemed to be about twice as tall and twice as heavy, and they bounced the little men around uh, Ayrson Park. And I think from that point, uh, the, uh, the Ayrson Park supporters uh, rather got behind Korea, had a bit of sympathy for them. <laughs> everybody had, had expected and we made cooing noises about how determined and enthusiastic the North Koreans were but really wrote them off with that game. Pak Sung Jin was North Korea's top scorer in the 8th World Cup. He had one of the most powerful shots of the tournament. Vidyan Chao 이 참가하는 것만 해도 대단히 영광스럽다고 하시면서 정말 가서 한두 팀이라도 이기고 돌아오려는 강력적인 그 교실을 주셨습니다.
정말 이렇듯 오늘 위대한 스님 동상 앞에 서고 보니 30여 년전 일이 감회 깊게 설, 네, 돌이켜 보게 됩니다. 지금도 위대한 스님께서 살아 계셨더라면 얼마나 기뻐하시겠는가? 정말 이루 헤어릴 수 없는 감격에 푹 빠져서 말할 수 없습니다. Despite their defeat to the Soviet Union, North Korea's players look to the country's guiding philosophy, Jucha, for inspiration. Jucha remains at the core of North Korean society. Its main message is that one is responsible for one's own destiny. Koreans looking full of confidence. They wept after their defeat by Russia, but they're quite convinced they're going to qualify. Chile had hosted the previous World Cup and finished third, but they too had lost their opening group match, 2-0 to Italy. For Middlesbrough fans, whose team had just been relegated to Division 3, it seemed natural to rally behind North Korea, the underdog. Against Chile, the Koreans would now be fully adopted as the home side. The crowd support for Korea, enormous. They're certainly looking a little more menacing already, and this one's got a very good chance here if he's got a left foot. Against Chile, you first saw the signs of how Korea might do a little bit better than we thought. Uh, because they were learning all the time. They weren't a bit dispirited by the, by the game against Russia. And they actually went out and produced a bit of football. And Korea looking very much at home at the moment. That's number one for Chile after 26 minutes. It was raining very hard, um, but nothing seemed to affect the Koreans. I, I think if, if they'd been the same if they'd been playing on in heavy mud or, or an ice pit. It was reminded me of a team of uh, clockwork mice collectively wound up at the start of the game and, and just ran around at the same pace until the, the final whistle. Still the score, 1-0 in Chile's favour. If North Korea lost this game, they would be out of the tournament. As the final whistle approached, the Middlesbrough crowd knew that their team faced elimination. The crowd willing them on, can it have a go? Oh, when we were there, we were in a long-term state of the game. If we were to play for 2 minutes, we would be Crowd are so anxious for this team to do well. If they scored, I'm sure the place would explode. The crowd almost willing it, and it's a beautiful goal. Korea have scored their first goal of the World Cup tournament. Pak Sun Jin, number eight, the scorer. 그때 생각하기 어 관람자들 보니까 공학기를 흔들면서 이 꺼레가 운하고. 믿으시면 전체가 다 우리 응원을 했습니다. 그 힘을 섞고 하나 뭘 생각했는가. 저국에서 위대한 수련이 얼마나 우리를 기다릴 것인가. 기다릴 것인가. 그때 감정은 응? 정말 응? 암흑 세계에서 광명을 본. 응? The crowd absolutely delirious. They've waited two matches for this moment. And they willed North Korea into that goal. They've never cheered Middlesbrough like this for years here. 그 영국 경찰이 우리 신변 안전을 위해서 뺑돌라싸고 누구든 못 들어오게 했는데. And the Navy has come in to wish them well. 이걸 보고 우리가 영국 그 특히 미들스브로이 민들이 우리를 얼마나 지지하고 성원했는가 하는 걸좀 눈물겹게 어, 지금 해상하게 됩니다. 지금도 그 의문스러운 거는 어떻게 돼서 그 어, 경기장에 들어온 미들주 그로 시민들이 우리를 그렇게 열광적으로 응원했는가 이거 아직도 응? 
제 자신이 수수께끼처럼 풀리지 않은 그런 예, 심정입 감정입니다. They played good football. You know, they're all small. I mean, that was a, a novelty in itself. They were, it was like watching a team of jockeys playing, but they moved the ball around really well. They, I think they took people by surprise, and, and they were very positive in their approach. They played attacking football. There was nothing defensive about their approach to the game, and the crowd got behind them from the way that they saw them play. 경기 끝난 다음에 미드필드 시장이 보스에 나왔습니다. 보스에 보스에 나와서 얼굴 축구를 처음 봤다는 거. 이? 그 미주 시장이 한쪽 심장이 떨어져 나가는 거 그때는 거 아시아 축구 보는 게 힘을 낸다는 거 아무튼 8번 문갑 꼬리아 박수진이 만드자 해서 악수 고서 내가 거기서 하고 해댔습니다. I got an autograph book, a World Cup Willie autograph book. I remember going to the airport hotel where the Koreans were staying. I was introduced to all of the players. I sat on Pat Dewick's knee, which is a highlight. One thing that stands out, they were wearing very blue tracksuits. They were very, very smart. They were always polite, very happy people. And I remember at the time, there was lots of other children uh, trying to get autographs, and I've got all their autographs, um, and I've kept that safe over the 30-odd years. And, uh, and I'll just always keep it safe. The day after, they had this reception given by the mayor in uh, Middlesbrough, um, and and it was a very sort of pleasant evening, you know. Uh, and at the end of it, I think as a as a thank you, um, the in a way the the Koreans uh, wanted to have a sing song, I think, or they wanted to sing a, a friendship song, um, and I think they called it warm friendship. They, they proved not only were they good on the field, but they were good off the field as well. At the 8th World Cup, a friendship had been allowed to blossom between two peoples whose worlds would otherwise never have collided. Munzigramida. 이렇게 조선 민족이 국가 나무로 갈라져서 반 세기가 넘도록 민족 분열의 고통을 당하고 있습니다. 이 콘크리트 장벽입니다. 콘크리트 붕괴선. 이 넓이가 50cm입니다. 높이가 5cm고. 이게 우리 경양로 최고 선행 감동지 이런 영대에서 유럽 북남 공동 선언을 이용해서 우리 조선 사람이 자체로 조국을 통일하고 유, 북남 유일 힘으로 구성하게 되면 우리 제 8차 수, 세계 축구 선수권 때처럼 우리나라가 
둘로 갈라진 조건에서 발전할 수 있는 지역 이런 기술도 발전하지 못하고 이런 곧 분단의 고통을 많이 겪고 있습니다. 우리 정치적 뿐만 아니라 지역 분야에서도 이렇게 고통을 겪고 있습니다. 제8차 세계선수권대회에서 문지기를 담당했던 리찬명입니다. 전쟁 어렵습니다. 전쟁 일어날 때는 오랬습니다. 종전되면서 53년도 종전되면서부터 제가 그 중학교, 인민학교에서부터 중학교 올라가면서부터 축구를 하기 시작했습니다. 전쟁 시기에는 이 미국 놈들이 폭격에 의해서 이 평양시가 몽땅 제떡이 됐습니다. 이게 집이라는 거는 하나도 없고, 그저 우리 인민들이 다 방공호를 파고 땅 속에서 그렇게 생활했습니다. 그게 그저 우리 하도 축구를 사랑하고 그때 형편으로서는 그런. 모든 조건이 모든 조건이 그 불리하기 때문에 에, 훈련하기도 곤란했고 에, 또 이런 그 모든 생활 조건이 다 불리했습니다. 골키퍼 리 찬명 is head coach of April 25th, the Korean People's Army team. 우리 밖에 싸움도 말이야 일어나서 싸움 아무서 같이 싸움해 줘야지 계속 떨어지잖아. His performances in the World Cup would earn him widespread acclaim. 예, 내가 이거 현역 할 때는 그 손이 좀 키가 작고 손이 작다라니까 예, 다른 사람보다 이거 힘 운동을 많이 했습니다. 음, 기력하고 예, 키가 작다라니까 이 저야 훈련을 많이 하고. 그래서 이 꼴물 때이 뜨게 되면 이만큼씩 올라가게 이렇게 훈련을 많이 했는데 이 선이 상대 억셌습니다. 근데 지금 현재 현혹을 놓고 오랫동안 있다라니까 이 보다시피 선이 이렇게 말문해지고 어 굳은 살이 다 빠졌습니다. 그 동물들도 어린 진화 과정을 거치지 않습니까? 이 사람 선도 아마 <웃음> 퇴화되는 과정인 것 같다고. <웃음> 김일성, extending the revolutionary struggle to the football pitch, had asked the team to win one or two matches. The final group game against the mighty Italians was the footballers' last chance to bring honour to their nation. The stage was set for a glorious battle. The Italians had previously won the World Cup twice and arrived in England as one of the tournament favourites. They were a young and glamorous team, with household names such as Rivera, Facchetti and Mazzola. 
cioè eravamo in un momento di forma molto buono prima del mondiale. Quando abbiamo vinto la prima con il Cile abbiamo pensato beh qui ce l'abbiamo praticamente fatta. Poi la sconfitta con la Russia ci ha messo invece grandi preoccupazioni. Stranamente abbiamo avuto la sensazione di una giornata grigia e, e poi probabilmente può aver influito per non rasserenare l'ambiente più, più di tanto. Tuttavia eravamo convinti che bastandoci anche il pareggio non, non avremmo dovuto correre particolari rischi contro una squadra che ritenevamo ed era inferiore. In Italy, the career game was considered a formality and anything less than the quarter-finals would be a national disgrace. For North Korea, a draw was not enough. They had to win to stay in the tournament. Back in North Korea, it was three in the morning. Millions crowded round their radio sets to listen to live commentary from the game. Really, we were able to get out of the way to get out of the way to get out of the way. E poi successivamente, quando sembrava stregata la porta che, che non entrasse nessun tiro nostro, evidentemente era tutta questa condizione di negatività che si era impadronita del, della, di questa partita nei nostri confronti e che quindi noi non siamo riusciti più a raddrizzare, per cui ogni, tutti i minuti dei 90 minuti erano negativi. In the 34th minute, the Italian captain Bulgarelli was injured in a tackle he made on Pak Sung Jin. He left the field on a stretcher. With no substitutes allowed, Italy were now down to 10 men. Off goes Bulgarelli. Abbiamo sbagliato subito tre gol eh, all'inizio della partita e abbiamo cominciato a aver paura di perdere. Poi c'è stato l'infortunio di un nostro compagno, allora non c'erano le sostituzioni, quindi abbiamo dovuto giocare in 10. Cioè non è un alibi, Italia-Corea, in 10 l'Italia dovrebbe vincere. Però era la preoccupazione, l'insicurezza che, che avevamo dentro che non ci ha permesso di fare quello che potevamo fare. In the 41st minute, North Korea delivered a fatal blow. Sì, 
발견할 때도 대체 차놓기 얼음발 차기는 아마 백발백증 명중률이 내가 비교적 높았습니다. 내가 차고네 꼬물때 다시 넘어대는데 볼무발간 내가 내가 그 두이동 꼬를 째 넘어도 기쁘고 이? 계속 일으키는구나 두이가 박두이 선수가 일으키는구나 나도 한번 다시 차 넘어봤다는 거. 마, la prima reazione è quella di di rabbia, di impotenza, di 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 voler fare. Di fatti abbiamo reagito, però abbiamo reagito in un modo sbagliato, senza ragionare, andando allo sbaraglio, cercando ognuno l'azione personale invece di avere calma, continuare a giocare per far venire fuori la maggior classe. Però come dico, forse eravamo troppo giovani per ragionare in quel modo. Chiesa, 뒤에는 우리 조국이 있고 또 우리 조국의 인민들이 날 지켜보고 있다는 거. 이? 내가 꼴을 먹이면 이? 우리 조국의 명예가 조락되고 우리 수령님께서 이? 에, 그 우리들에게 주신 그런 과업을 수행하지 못한다는 이런 것으로 해서 정말 죽어도 나는 이 문을 사수해야 된다는 이? 그런 높은 자책감으로 해서 꼴문을 지켰습니다. In the dressing room, the Koreans kept opening the door and inviting us in to celebrate with them. Uh, because they were celebrating on lemonade, there was no, didn't seem to be any alcohol present whatsoever. And they were just jumping up and down and talking and gibbering away in their own language, just highly, highly delighted. I'd never seen so many people in one enclosed space. Everybody from North Korea must have been in there. Well, next door was deadly silent. Non c'era nessun commento da fare oggettivamente, quindi. La cosa migliore in quei casi era il silenzio, anche perché in quel momento eravamo tutti responsabili, da, dall'allenatore all'ultimo dei giocatori, si sentivano responsabili di aver fatto un, un qualcosa di negativo, per, che poi si è, si è rivelato negativo per tutto il calcio italiano. Insomma, e non... Credo che molti piangevamo quel giorno, nello spogliatoio. North Korea's victory was unquestionably the greatest shock in World Cup history. Italy would win the European Championships two years later and would be runners-up at the next World Cup. But right now, the wealthiest players on the planet 
returned home to ridicule and a hail of rotten tomatoes from their supporters. It's a disaster. It's a disaster, but soprattutto il bello is stato, cioè il bello, il brutto adesso si ride perché è passato tanto tempo. L'arrivo all'aeroporto con la gente fuori, chi è riuscito ad andare da una parte, chi dall'altra. Brutto, molto brutto. Perché c'erano diverse uscite dall'aeroporto, però c'erano molti tagliapomodori, un po' di tutto c'era. Io sono stato fortunato, sono riuscito a uscire e non mi hanno visto. <laughs> Ero svelto. To this day, any disaster in Italian football is referred to as another career. Tonebonelte,韓国的提名啦,都一个不认同,嗯,可能,嗯,刚用作品,寡不是有一个大人,一人,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,嗯,
they certainly didn't have anywhere. So we got frantic contact from them saying, could they possibly stay here instead? At the time, this place would have mainly been used by priests and nuns and perhaps a few particularly religious lay people. You certainly wouldn't have expected the communist football team to be here at all. Outwardly, the Koreans appeared relaxed. They had become the darlings of the nation and had set the tournament alight. But despite appearances, they were far from comfortable in their new surroundings. They were given single rooms, a custom entirely alien to a communist team who normally slept in dormitories. <laughs> As a, a Catholic house, we have crucifixes, crosses in each of the rooms. They all had to be taken down, and that wasn't judged to be suitable. Despite the best intentions of their new hosts, the religious imagery throughout Leola Hall remained a problem to the players. <laughs> Yang Sung Guk had been drafted into the team against Italy and provided North Korea with a cutting edge on their left side. Against Portugal, he was to be even more prominent. This was the biggest game in the history of Asian football. North Korea faced a colossal task. Portugal had won all three of their group games, scoring nine goals in the process. They had knocked the holders, Brazil, out of the tournament. And in their ranks was Eusebio, who alongside Pele was regarded as the best player in the world. The North Koreans could again rely on massive local support, including around 3,000 fans who travelled 150 miles from Middlesbrough. We decided to try and get tickets and go across and see them play Portugal. We devised this banner, uh, packed away Crown Prince of the Orient, and uh, that, that stuck and we, we took that with us. We must have uh, dressed the car up. We did have the banner, we had the scarves, and it was the middle of summer, and you know, being teenagers, great opportunity to go out for the day and uh, support your, your local team. In this case, it was North Korea as opposed to Middlesbrough. The 
tournament was now at the knockout stage. After this game, North Korea would either head to Wembley for the semi-finals or be on their way home. I think having beaten Italy, people had to give them some sort of chance. Uh, but the way Portugal were playing after that tremendous group with Hungary and Brazil, uh, people said, well, you know, they, I think this is, you know, they, they will probably give a good account of themselves and, and be beaten by a couple of goals. Uh, nobody expected the quarterfinal to develop as it did. Easy, easy. We want three is the, is the cry now. Nick. Now Cook. He must score. He must score. Three nil. Easy yells the crowd and the Portuguese just aren't in this match. 우리가 한골 넣고 두골 넣고 세골 넣고 이럴 때에 전체 그 관중들이 우리를 어 정말 열광적으로 이제 응원했습니다. We were exhausted jumping up and down as much by shock and surprise as anything else. It was just like Italy all over again, except that they scored more goals. And what happened to Portugal was the same as what happened to Italy. They just seriously underestimated them. I was doing the quarter-final between Hungary and the Soviet Union, uh, and we didn't have uh, you know, instant radio then or, or, or scores being flashed up on screens, but news filtered through. Oh, Korea won up. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, and two up. Three up, and you think, hang on, I'm at the wrong game. <laughs> you knew at the back of your mind that it wasn't going to last, so you enjoyed it while it did. You just knew, you know, you saw the football and part of your brain took over and thought, well, this can't be right. You know, they're winning 3 0, and we've only been playing 20 minutes. So, I was in the game, and 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 I was in the That must be the most astonishing scoreline in this competition so far. Well, there's no question about it that these boys are turning form upside down. They look more the favourites than Portugal do. The crowd now calling for four, and believe me, that's possible. Portugal's main hopes now lay at the feet of their star player, the Mozambique-born striker, Eusebio. Eusebio going through, Eusebio, 3-1. Eusebio is a big one, 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 a big
자기네 선수들한테 그 무엇인가 허설을 했단 말이에요. 이 카브는 총반 공격으로 넘어왔다는 거예요. One wonders whether if these North Koreans were more experienced in international competition, though, whether they'd try and sit on this lead, but it's obviously not their style. Most teams in the world, if, if they'd have been in that situation, would have tightened everything up, slowed everything down, made Portugal do the work. As it was, uh, Korea, I thought they lost a bit of discipline in that game. They, they, they started committing panicky fouls, didn't they? g o v e away penalties and really sort of played into Eusebio's hands or to Eusebio's feet. Portugal, 총반 공격에 우리가 대응할 수 있는 육체적 준비, 말하자면 기력이 약간 떨어지는 이런 분위기였고, 그 다음에 우리가 그 세아를 먼저 내고 그 승리를 유지하기 위한 이런 경험이 풍부하지 못했다. 마지막은 시간을 보내는 경기를 잘할줄 네? 몰랐다는 거. There's the score then. If the North Koreans could just tighten up their defence, they might well be through to the semi-final. s u s e b i o Well, that's the man we thought could win this match for Portugal, u s e b i o k a y a n going with it. This penalty could put Portugal in the lead. Four goals to three, all four to Eusebio. 그 지금 내가 기억하고 있는 거는 포르투갈 그 포르투갈의 유세비오 선수가 차노키가 좋다는 거, 중장거리 차노키가 좋고 아주 강하고. 예, 위력 있습니다. 하고 활동력이 좋고, 이게 고개 맞게 내 기술이 이, 그 안받침대디 못하다 나니까 결과적으로 어, 다수 할수이나 이제 실점 주게 됐는데 그건 에, 내가 잘못해서 기대했다고 생각합니다. My hope is that a very good game in goal. That's one obviously for Torres. There it is. 먼저 세알 넣고 다수화를 먹은 데 대해서는 상당히 그 아쉬운 감이 없지 않고 아주 컸다는 거. But the crowd really saluting these Koreans who played their hearts out. They're looking a bit dejected and disappointed, but. Uh... They've really done far, far better than anyone could possibly expect. 그러나 준준결승에까지 올라간 이 성과를 놓고 우리는 결코 패배자의 심정이 아니었다는 거, 승리자의 심정이었다는 거.
여기 도착하니까 정말 누가 조직도 안 했는데 우리 에, 평양 시민 전체가 떨쳐나서서 우리를 응원했습니다. 어, 환영했습니다. 그걸 어, 그런 어, 대통령급에 못지않은 그런 열렬한 환영을 받았을 때 우리 심정은 야 우리가 좀더 잘했으면 이, 얼마나 좋았을까 하는 그런 그 오히려 이, 미안한 감이 이, 없지 않았습니다. 그때 우리나라의 신문에 소개된 자료들이 선수들 소개한 자료입니다. 이 박순진 너무 응? 여술사처럼 제절을 부리는 선수 이런 제목으로 응? 영적인 문지기 예, 제기돼서. 그저 여담인데 그차 이제 단속을 대도 증명서 보고 박두익이 증명서 보면 기당 통과시키는 이런 것도 있습니다. 예, 아마 우리 인민들이 어, 적극적인 그런 지원 그 이걸로 해서 성과를 거뒀지만 아직 뭐. 어, 나라에 크게 도움 정보는 없습니다. 그 운동장에 나올 때마다 그저 옛날이 새로워지고 이자도 얘기했지만은 운동장에 나와서 넘볼 차는 거 보면 그저 저한자 발이 이렇게 자꾸 놀래 되게 되고 어, 마음은 살아서 <웃음> 어, 육체는 좀 노세했지만은 마음은 살아서 자꾸 볼 차고 픈 생각이 나고 그때처럼 내 우리가 못 하는가 하는 것도 좀 느끼게 된다. 그럼 할수 있지만 나는 잘하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지못하지